what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so while we wait on an official trailer teaser something from screen 5 there have been some updates that have come out recently regarding what's going on with the post-production status and what's been going on while they're in post-production how far advanced they are and how many more things they have to do this is from an old interview back in january based off of the wording that's spoken of in this interview that recently occurred uh, one of the producers involved with Radio Silence, uh, who's working on Screen 5, Chad Valella, he sat down this past January, again, going off of how things are being worded in this interview. It sounds like it's, it's recorded sometime in January. He had an interview with Film Grain, who I guess is a podcast on Apple Podcasts, where he just shared some details on the post-production process. And some he shared a lot of interesting things, things about Kevin Williamson, things about how Wes Craven is factored into the movie. He did also shed some light on the fact that there was a cut shown this past February to certain producers. Uh, or just some cuts shown to those involved with the uh, film, those who were invested in the film. And I guess that would back up what whoever was posting that thing on Reddit that they saw an early cut of it. Now, the cut that they saw was not even finished. It was just an early cut that they sh that, that got shown to producers. Uh, and one of which was Kevin Williamson. So Kevin Williamson has actually seen a cut of Screen 5 and he was actually stoked about it. He was pretty excited about it. I guess he had nothing too negative to say about it he was pretty satisfied with what he saw on screen so if that's the rough cut and kevin williamson really enjoyed the rough cut then i would only hope that once we see the final edit that us the fans will be just as thrilled about it too because if the original creator gives his stamp of approval not to say that that means that it's not going to be something that many of us might feel falls short of the other films but you know if kevin williamson because kevin williamson he wanted nothing to do with this series i felt like after the whole debacle that happened with scream 4 where he basically walked out and said you know what i'm gonna go focus on my hit series the vampire diaries forget the weinsteins i got my own stuff that i'm working on that's more important than all of this trouble that they're causing me the fact that they managed to convince him to come back and that he has seen an early cut of the film and he is very pleased and satisfied with it that that says a lot and i'm sure it means a lot to those involved that worked on the film matt Benelli and tyler gillette and all the cast members that worked on this i'm sure it means a lot to them uh he also shared that the producer's cut again was shown this past february again backing up that reddit post that came out but again the director's cut itself probably won't be finished until around april or may which is we're in april and then we have next month may so then that would back up if they are able to finish again by April or May, if they are able to finish it this month, we could be expecting our first look at the film in May or June. Doesn't mean that's what's going to happen, of course, but we should ex start to set our expectations around May or June, because then that would also reinforce my theory that we could see it in theaters when A Quiet Place 2 comes out right alongside it. If they are able to complete whatever it is they're trying to complete this month instead of may so the other thing that happened during that producer screening apparently it did include some sound mixing from the phil's composer who has yet to be revealed still but many of us believe that that person is brian tyler who worked on the ready or not score uh, and i honestly thought the ready or not score was very uh it really it really added that emotional weight to the film in my opinion i feel like it raised the stakes in a lot of the moments helped elaborate and expand on the tension that was being built in certain moments of the film so i'm interested to see if brian tyler is the one who's actually composing the score because we don't know who's working on it but many of us believe it's brian tyler especially considering he posted something about screen five not too long ago if it's him i'm curious to see how he does certain renditions of other scores like sydney's theme and other things that we have come to know about and expect from the scream score uh and then the other thing that was talked about was Wes Craven and how his presence is in the film. And he's very much in the film. He's there in many ways, according to Chad. He's in there both in very obvious ways and just Easter eggs. So Kevin Williamson's presence, not Kevin Williamson's presence, Wes Craven's presence will be felt throughout this film, whether it be more obvious or through Easter eggs. One of the ways that we know he's going to be in the film is through one of the characters that are involved. Uh, we know that there's a character in the film played by Dylan Minnette who is going to be named apparently Wes Hicks. He will be playing the son, Wes Hicks, who is the son of Judy Hicks. So obviously a nod to the director, Wes Craven, 
who directed all the previous films before this one so we have that and then these other ways that there's gonna they're gonna have his presence felt in the film we have to wait and see how that's actually gonna come off on screen but the fact that they're weaving him into the film in many ways just to kind of like i guess mostly mostly honestly that's both fan service and just showing respect to the person who worked on these films up until he can no longer do them because he unfortunately passed away so the other thing we need to talk about is Dwayne Martin who we know starred in Scream 2 as Joel Gale's cameraman he did post this on Instagram a little throwback Thursday uh Scream 2 I left in a cab Scream 5 coming soon now my whole shtick with this and what many people are speculating is why is he really caring about Scream 5 if he's not going to be involved in it and then also we have a similar situation where the filmmakers have started to follow him on Instagram. So now everyone is theorizing that he is going to be back for Screen 5. We know that they have surprises in store for us considering, considering the fact that Heather Matarazzo, who we know plays Randy Meek's sister, Martha, she wasn't even a part of the official cast lineup, but we know she's going to be in this film somewhere, but she wasn't a part of the official cast release that came out. If I'm mistaken, please correct me down below, but her name has not been detailed anywhere. So we know that's supposed to be a surprise. Dwayne Martin being back as Joel would be quite a surprise, especially if Gail Weathers is back to her old ways, if she's back to her reporting ways, and if she's back and she's found that uh, resurgence in her career after all this time. Let's say her and Dewey, of course, not together anymore, and she's just back up on her game and she has joel because who better than to have with you than someone you know someone you've worked with before and someone of course who's not dead since kenny's dead we haven't seen her work with any other cameraman since joel i if i'm not mistaken we didn't see her work with a cameraman in screen three didn't see her work with a cameraman in screen four so who knows what has happened in between screen four and screen five that could have brought her back into the path of joel if she's back to her reporting ways and once the killing started beginning in woodsboro her and joel are going to be right there like it was scream 2 all over again so if Dwayne martin is in screen 5 that'd be a great cameo appearance for him not to say that he'd be reduced to a cameo but if he's in screen 5 it'd be nice to see him it'd be nice to see anyone back in this film honestly anyone who makes sense if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and then miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram what do you guys think about what chad Villella had to say about what's going on with the post production and what do you think about kevin williams kevin williamson's positive response to the early cut that he saw uh, turn on post notification at Nimrod's video in the description. I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.